Now, a day after links of the PFI emerged in the hijab controversy in Karnataka, here's a controversy that's playing out in Rajasthan, where the Congress is allowing a PFI march. The BGP is hit out of the Congress over this particular PFI march that is happening in Rajasthan, for which the Gelod government has given the nod. Shahzad Punawal of the BJP is joining us on this broadcast. Shahzad, good morning. Your view of what's playing out in Rajasthan. There have been a lot of questions over the PFI's role in what's playing out in Karnataka currently. And amid that, in Rajasthan, a PFI march will be happening. The PFI is a designated hate radical group by the NIA. Several state governments have demanded a ban on it, including Uttar Pradesh. Once upon a time, Kerala government had said it was nothing but an avatar of Simi. We have seen the kind of role they played in NTCA riots. The funding they got is under the ED scanner. But Congress has a soft corner for all such extremist groups and elements. Congress is the leader of the Tukre gang. And therefore, the Congress is legitimizing Popular Front of India by allowing it to carry out its annual march in quota where thousands will gather. And that too, when they know that this entire hijab controversy was stoked, the fire was stoked by the Campus Front of India. This shows that Congress ka haath, extremist groups ke saath, Congress ka haath, tukde tukde karne wale loon ke saath. This is the mindset of the Congress. They have also had an alliance in Karnataka with the SDPI in the past. Mm -hmm. And therefore, the Congress party is now legitimizing this hate radical group by giving it a platform to do a march in Rajasthan. Shezad, uh, you know, what has always been the counter-argument for the Congress, particularly what's playing out in Karnataka, is that if the PFI is so dangerous and involved in these kind of activities, why hasn't the BJP gone ahead and banned the organization? There are various state governments that have demanded a ban. Is the Congress party supporting a ban on the PFI? They should come out and take a position on it. The NIA has already clarified the position on its activities, illegal and unlawful activities. Why is it that the Congress party and the state government are giving permission to such groups? Because they know that the activities of the PFI, their links with the ISIS, their links with the anti-CA rights, their links with extremist elements is all there in black and white in documents and dossiers by intelligence agencies. In fact, even during the UPA tenure. So is the Congress party disregarding all of that while giving permission? Or is this only another element of their Tushti Karan Ki Rajniti because of which they are now legitimizing the popular front of India, which I think okay. is also a tagline for people for inciting violence in India. All right, Shaza, thank you very much for joining us this morning here on India Today with your view on a PFI march that will be conducted in Rajasthan's quota in a few hours from now. All of this amid an ongoing and raging debate of whether the PFI is involved in the hijab controversy in Karnataka.